Hello everyone. I've had my flu shot today and it's kicking my butt so I don't feel like being on camera. But you still get your daily update on Ukraine. So right now the fighting is focused around the eastern town of Avdivka. And again, if you are feeling a little bit of deja vu, uh, that's because, yes, we have been here before. And uh, clearly Russians have not learned their lessons. They're assaulting the cities, have been on it for five days now, almost a week. Uh, still not making a whole lot of progress. Because again, like I said, they haven't learned. I don't know what made them think that they can just walk in there now. They weren't able to do that when Ukrainians had uh, worse weapons and less training. So, yeah, no logic whatsoever. But of course, this whole war is illogical. And um, of course, that also means that the more losses they suffer there and at other portions of the front, the more viciously they're going to attack the civilian population all throughout Ukraine. Our friends from the UK are pitching in again, and this is going to be such valuable help. It is sad that people of Ukraine are going to need this, but it's good that somebody's there to provide this assistance. So, as you know, the issue of old mines, old landmines and um, explosives all around the world is a serious one, and it's not new. Uh, that has been around for a while, and so there are specialists who basically work on locating, identifying, and disarming old explosives, including landmines. Russians have landmined literally acres upon acres upon acres of Ukrainian land. So now Ukrainian armed forces are working closely with the British mining specialists to determine how are they going to clean up this mess. So that is yet another catastrophe that Russia has released upon Ukraine. It's bad enough that they have started a war. It's bad enough that they have destroyed entire villages and towns and raised cities off the surface of the earth. It's bad enough that they have kidnapped children. It's bad enough that they have caused an ecological disaster by destroying the dam in Novokakhovka. All of the atrocities, all of that, and now this, making it even worse. Incidentally, making somebody's land, somebody's country, uninhabitable, which, of course, landmines do, is one of the acts of genocide, according to the international definition of genocide. Well, this is a really, really good question. And a lot of people will ask, well, what do you mean? What more can you do? Again, you can start getting serious about treating this war the way you treated World War II. That, that is what that means. So, that means treating Russia as a terrorist state. That means treating Putin and making efforts to capture him at the same level as Osama bin Laden and Saddam Hussein. That means, yes, boots on the ground. That means no delays with aid. Basically, again, treating the whole thing as if we are in a world war because, like it or not, we are. 